Hello everyone, welcome to another Adobe Lightroom Classic tutorial. For this video, I want to once more focus a little bit on the color grading aspect. As you can see, the original RAW file is very dark and has a very strong blue color cast and thus it doesn't look really like a sunset image. With the help of some color grading, I'm going to change that. So let's take a closer look. First off, if you're wondering what those two things on the left side are, I basically block the sun with my fingers so I don't get any weird lens reflexes in this image. I'm going to Photoshop them out later, but let's start with basic adjustments. I want this image to be very saturated and bright. And the way I'm starting this is always by changing the profile right here. And for more base saturation, I usually go with Adobe Landscape. You can already see the colors are all boosted a little bit and the shadows are brightened up slightly. Then next, I usually go on and adjust the white balance. So I do want to warm it up a little bit. And here a little trick to get the white balance like how you want it to is to turn up the vibrance and the saturation all the way. Now you can clearly see the colors. So if I'm adding the temperature, it will help me to see what the color range is doing, especially in the sky. And since I want to still have some blues left in the upper right corner, just like that, I think that's a pretty solid point right there. Actually, let's maybe make it a little colder. Just a bit. Okay, that should be good. And then of course, we are going to reset the vibrance and the saturation. Here you can just double click on those sliders and they will reset automatically. Now I'm not touching the tint because the colors do look quite good. Of course, for stronger sunset colors, you might want to push the tint a bit, but in this case, I don't like the look of it. That's a very, very basic color grading. Now to continue with this process, however, I need to first balance the exposure a little more. Let's drop the highlights real quick so we can get back some details from the sky. And I'm also increasing the shadows so we get details back from the dark areas. Overall, you can see this image is very, very dark. So I want to change that by bringing up the exposure just a bit. Also, this makes the histogram look much, much better. So that's a good spot right there. Also, we could add a bit of contrast. And for more clarity, I'm going to add some texture and some clarity. All right. Now that's a pretty solid base image. To continue with the color grading, I want to bring up the vibrance since as I said in the beginning, I want this shot to be very saturated. Maybe let's not overdo it. This should be fine right here. All right. And from this point on, I want to continue with a few local adjustments. So I'm grabbing the gradiated filters first and I want to work on the sky. Again, I want to bring out those blue tones in the sky more. So I'm using this gradiated filter and I'm specifically targeting the sky area, which is brighter than the mountains. And I'm doing this by using a luminance range mask. I can check this box to show you the luminance mask. Right now, it does affect the top part of those mountain peaks. And by adjusting the range, I can filter out the darker colors. So only the bright sky will be affected here. So let me deactivate the setting. Now I'm bringing down the exposure, which in turn will make the sky in the right corner a little more bluish. Okay, perfect. You can see there's also one gradiated filter on the foreground. Here I just want to boost the texture and the clarity some more to bring out the sand a little more. But let's continue with the radial filters. There is just one, but this is really important in my opinion. The left side right here does look really cool, but we can enchant it a little more. And I'm doing this by adding some negative dehaze. Just be really, really careful here. Otherwise you very quickly will overexpose the image. Basically, we have added some artificial fog right here. 
The problem is we did lose some color in there and I want this fog to be very very golden. So I'm going to simply boost the temperature. Just like that. And we get nice golden fog going on on the left side. And that's already it for the local adjustments I guess. I really don't want to overdo it so let's just continue with the color grading. For sunset images like this I usually play around with the tone curve and that means I want to introduce more red tones especially to the highlights and the brighter areas. And that's very simple to do. I am just going to select the red channel like this and I'm picking up this point and just slightly drag it to the left. And as you can see if I go overboard a little bit this introduces a lot of red tones. As I mentioned, just add a little bit, otherwise this will also lead to overexposure. You can see it on the histogram right there. In this case that's not a big deal, the overexposure is just in this area, so I don't need any detail in here anyway. Now we can further play around with the tone curve, this time though in the blue channel. And instead of dragging this point to the left again, which would result in a bluer image, I'm going to drag it down slightly, which will add some more yellow tones. Just like that. And it's a very very tiny change, but it is quite impactful. Then let's work a little bit in the HSL panel. So what part of this image do I want to adjust? The first thing I'm noticing is the green grass in the center part somehow doesn't fit the rest of the scene. and. That's because we have so many colors in here. We have blue, we have yellow and orange tones, we have even some red tones right here and then there's this huge green mass in the center. I want to fix that by bringing down the green hue and making them look a little more yellowish. So let's just bring down the green hue like this and after this little change the image is much more harmonic. Then let's continue in the saturation tab. Again I'm taking a look at this image and think about what I want to do. I really like this golden hour light and also how the light is hitting the center and the foreground. So I'm going to boost the orange tones and I might want to slightly drop the yellow tones here so we don't get an oversaturated image. But this looks really pleasing. Okay, now we have worked on the warmer tones. And I think I want to give the blue tones a little more saturation as well, just a bit. So we have some color variety here. Maybe that's a bit much, but this looks pretty good. All right. Finally, there's the luminance tab. And for this image, I have to admit, this isn't really that helpful. But we can make the sky a little darker by bringing down the blue luminance. Just a bit, I don't want to have a too dark sky for this shot, but that looks good. And maybe we can also adjust the grass in the center. Let's just bring up the green luminance here and see what it does. You can see we get some more highlights in here, which is almost like dodging the image. So let's just bring in some luminance here just like that. We could even do this with the yellow tones and the orange tones but you need to be careful here otherwise you end up with a way overexposed image. Alright but I guess that's it for the HSL panel and the change is really really cool to see. Now let's continue with the split toning in the color grading panel. Depending on the scene I'm starting with the shadows or the highlights that means if it's a dark image with lots of cold color tones, I'm going for the shadows first. If it's a bright image with a lot of warm color tones like this one, I usually start with the highlights. And of course to fit the scene, I'm going to add more warm color tones to the highlights as well. And I try to fit the golden light on the left side, which is some kind of orange tone in this range I guess. And depending on your taste, you can of course boost the saturation way up in this case. But I want to keep it subtle, so let's go with something like this. Okay, then let's work on the midtones. Again, depending on the image, I'm usually going with a cold or warm color tone. 
In this case, the midtones are mostly covered in warmer tones, so I'm also applying a warm color tone to them in the color grading panel. Again, I'm going with the orange color, just like that. But of course, as I want to keep it subtle, I'm turning down the saturation. Okay, nice. Now we have adjusted the midtones and the highlights with pretty much the same color tone. But we want to introduce some more variety in here, so I'm using the shadows and introduce a coat color tone. I think that's a pretty good spot, but again, I'm bringing down the saturation. And I'm just using a little bit. That should be enough already. All right, that looks really awesome. And then comes the final part for the color grading at least. And that's all the way down in the calibration tab. And for sunset images like this, I always love to play around with the blue primary hue and saturation. Now check out what this does. If I bring down the hue, those gold hour lights will get some kind of red color cast, which just looks amazing. We can bring it down quite far, but again, just don't overdo it. Keep it subtle. And then we might as well push the saturation some more. And as you can see, this last step really helps to bring out those sunset colors. So that's it for color grading this landscape image with Adobe Lightroom Classic. If you have any questions about the process, feel free to ask me in the comments and thank you very much for watching this video.